In today's episode, we're going to be talking about ways to play and engage with your 18 to 24 month old little one. Playtime is so important for our toddlers. It really promotes their development and their growth. So let's dive right in. Number one is sensory play. Toddlers at this age start to discover the world through their senses. So engaging their senses during playtime is so incredibly beneficial. One thing we've done in our household is that we've created our own little toddler stool built out of an old Ikea uh, wooden step stool. I'll put a link in the description on how to create this for yourself and for your family. And what it helps us do is have our little one help us in the kitchen. And so to promote this sensory aspect of playtime, we have her mix dough using flour and water and sugar. We have her help us make cookies, or we just honestly have her mix rice in a bowl just so that she can feel the texture. Trying all these different textures has been so beneficial for her and just exploring the world around her. Ultimately, just let your child explore and feel and touch using their hands. It's a fantastic way to enhance their tactile and sensory skills. Number two is imagination and pretend play. Another great way for your toddler to play is through pretend play. One way that we do this with our daughter is we have a nice little pretend kitchen for her in our living room. And when we can't get her to help us in the kitchen or we just don't have time for that, we have her play in her little pretend kitchen. We bought little pretend food for it so that she can feel like she's engaged in, in the cooking experience. This type of play really enhances their social skills, their creativity, and even helps with their language and their cognitive skills. If you're looking for some product suggestions, I have two major recommendations that I would suggest to you. The first is the IKEA Kitchen Set for Children. It is a wonderful product, it's really cute, and it fits really well with all types of furniture. Highly recommend it. Feel free to click here to explore more. And the other one is actually a gift that we receive for our daughter. A link is over here if you're interested to explore a little bit more about that one. Our daughter absolutely loves it. Number three is gross motor activities. Toddlers have an abundance of energy, as we all know, and a great way to use up this energy is through gross motor activities. An example of this is to just build an obstacle course in your living room, get some pillows, and then really just encourage your child to climb, crawl, and even fall a little bit, but really to explore. The ultimate goal of this is to improve their coordination, their balance, and overall their motor skills. Number four is music and dance. All I have to say here is that our daughter absolutely loves music and dancing. At this age, if they haven't already heard a lot of music, then I really highly recommend that you introduce them to some amazing varieties of music. They will absolutely love it. It's so great for them to learn a little bit more about rhythm and music. It really promotes their cognitive abilities, also their physical skills too. Dancing takes a lot of work. You can introduce things like the tambourine, shakers, rattles, and even a drum kit if you can get your hands on it. But I guarantee you your little one will absolutely love dancing and, and playing and singing along with you. And it's a great opportunity for you to get silly a little bit and dance with your little one. Number five is storytelling and reading. So last but certainly not least is storytelling and reading. This is so important for your little one at this stage. They're really starting to understand stories now and they really are feeling more and more engaged and empowered to both start speaking, but also to really listen and understand what is happening in the world around them. One way to do this is just to choose age appropriate books that are full of color and full of very simple language that they can easily understand and you can easily point to certain objects and describe it to them. They're just ready to soak it up at this age and really all it takes is an engagement from you and them and a few minutes a day and you'll see a wonderful improvement in their cognitive abilities just through this activity of reading. Or some tips and tricks uh, while you're reading is to read aloud, use various different voices for various different characters, and just really have fun with it. And you'll see them just absolutely light up when you do that. Reading is an excellent way to promote language development, cognitive skills, and create a wonderful bond with your little one. One thing that I'll say here, or if you want to call it my hot take, is TV, though it comes across as very educational, 
at this age, it's really not adding any value to your little one to put them in front of a TV. It's a great way to, to just have a distraction for a few minutes, but at this age, they don't really have the ability to fully understand what's happening on the TV. They're still learning so much about the world around them. So it's really, really important that we, the parents, engage with them, get down to their level, read to them, speak to them. It makes a world of a difference in their abilities later down the road. Spend that time with them now and it will pay itself forward. And honestly, it's just so enjoyable to do it with your little one anyway. And there you have it. That was your top five best playtime ideas for your 18 to 24 month old toddler. Remember, playtime should be enjoyable and interactive for your little one, promoting growth, development, and having a great time together. Get down to their level and have some fun. You won't regret it. You'll also have an opportunity to relive some of your best cherished childhood memories. I hope you found these tips helpful and be sure to stay tuned for more parenting tips and tricks and tech related content. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any suggestions for future videos or would like to leave a comment, please do so in the comment section below. And remember, stay tech savvy.